Hello dear students. After studying in detail image formation using the content mirror and the products mirror, the next topic we are going to study is the same convention for reflection by spherical mirrors and also known as Cartesian system. This Cartesian side convention informs us that when the distance is measured as positive, when the distance measured is considered as negative. It also teaches us that when the height is to be considered positive, when the height is to be considered negative. So you can consider this as a reflecting surface of any mirror. As you see, the image line passing through pole B is also known as principal axis. Now in this particular Cartesian system, the principal axis is considered as x-axis. The second important point to remember is that all the distance, whether you are taking distance on the left hand side or right hand side, is to be measured from pole P. So once again in this Cartesian system, the principal axis is considered as the x-axis and all the distance, whether on the left hand side or right hand side are measured from pole P. Now, as you have studied using graph paper, that all the distance that are on the right hand side of pole P are considered to be positive. Once again, the distance from pole P, when you measure it on the right hand side, all the distance on the right hand side of pole P are considered as positive. In the same way, all the distance on the left hand side of pole P has to be considered to be negative. So once again, all the distance on the right hand side of pole P are considered as positive distance and all the distance on the left hand side of the pole is considered to be negative distance. In the same way, any height or anything which is above the principal axis that distance is taken as positive and whatever distance is there, whatever height is there which is below the principal axis is to be con uh, considered to be negative. Now these sign conventions are important in two ways that you might get a theory in which you have to explain the sign convention for uh, reflection of spherical mirrors which may be as for three marks and the terms which has to be taken as positive, the terms that has to be taken as negative will be helpful to you in solving the numericals when you will learn about the lens formula and mirror formula. Now still we haven't uh, discussed anything about the lens. So first we will study about the mirror formula. So to solve a numerical which will be there for 3 marks, if your numerical is related to a mirror then you have to remember a formula which is known as mirror formula. The formula goes like this 1 upon B plus 1 upon U is equal to 1 upon F. So once again the formula which is famous as mirror formula goes like this 1 upon B plus 1 upon U is equal to 1 upon F where U is the object distance V is the image distance and F is the focal length of the mirror which might be a concave mirror or a convex mirror. So once again, whenever any numerical is there which is related to a mirror, we use mirror formula. Mirror formula gives us the relationship between three quantities that is U, V and F where U is your object distance, V is the image distance and F is the focal length. So for a particular mirror, let us say that the values of focal length and the object distance are given, you can easily find out the image distance using the formula 1 upon V plus 1 upon U is equal to 1 upon F. This particular formula is known as mirror formula where U is your object distance, V is your image distance and F is focal length. Now, Another important thing to remember over here is that whether your mirror is convex or concave, the value of U will be always negative. Remember, 
value of u will be always negative. Why? Because according to the sign convention, object is always placed to the left hand side of the mirror. And in the sign convention, we have studied that when anything is placed on the left hand side of the mirror, its distance is considered to be negative. So, the thing to remember is that object distance u, its value will be always negative. V is image distance and F is the focal length. Now, this formula gives information about the image distance. But what about the nature of the image? That is whether it is magnified, whether it is real or inverted. So for that, you require to find out the magnification of image and the magnification of image can be found out using two different formulas. It depends on what data is given on your question. Depending on the data given in the question, you can either use formula 1 or formula 2. Both formula gives us the information about the magnification of image. Now, the first formula n is equal to h dash upon h, where h dash is height of image and h represents height of object. So once again to find out the magnification of image, the first formula that can be used is m is equal to h dash upon h, where h dash represents height of image and h represents height of object. So in short, when you give the ratio of height of image to the height of object, you will get the value of magnification of image, which might be uh, 0 point something, 1 or greater than 1 about which we will discuss in the next session. The second formula that can be used to find out the magnification of image is m is equal to minus v upon u where again v is nothing but image distance and u is nothing but object distance. So depending upon what things are given in your question you can find out the magnification of image using the formula m is equal to s dash upon h or using the formula m is equal to minus v upon u and to find out the relationship between the object distance, main distance and focal length any two things will be given you need to find the third thing using the formula 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 1 upon f which is known as the mirror formula in next session we will try to solve certain numericals which are based on mirror formula till then bye have a nice day